guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here bringing the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube and today we're taking a WWE main event series 149 featuring the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in his street gear. When this was revealed at WWE World, I was really excited for this figure. Uh, the main event, uh, which is uh, the rebranding of the basic series, uh, has really stepped up the game as far as articulation. They're giving us some kind of unique figures that you're kind of intrigue you and you know pique your interest. Say, hey, maybe I need that for my collection. I feel the street gear for a lot of these uh, WWE uh, superstars has kind of been uh, where these have been going. We did see an elite uh, suited Cody Rhodes in Elite Series 109, uh, but it's cool to see this in the basic series. Maybe if this is successful enough, we can kind of see it correlate a little more to the elites because I feel like their street gear is a big part of the uh, wrestlers' personalities. But nonetheless, when this was announced, I was like, man, I need that for my collection. But then I saw some proto images where he didn't have the neck tat. And mind you, the main event series, they're a little bit of more of a budget series. Uh, he wouldn't have had the uh, the coloring on the neck tattoo. But sure enough, he actually does have the tattoo. If you guys can't see it, it is obviously painted in black. But uh, that was enough to say, you know what? I definitely need this for my collection. I'm a huge Cody fan. And uh, I love this shirt design. I actually do have multiple versions of this t-shirt with uh, the uh, sleeveless version, the hoodie. Uh, one of my favorite logos for Cody Rhodes here. Um, you can see, again, the new articulation for 2024 with the main event series. You can see the nameplate here as well as the image of Cody wearing that attire. Uh, I hope maybe eventually, I know it's a small ass, but maybe we can start get, seeing some Cody's with the neck tat colored in. I just feel like that would really put this figure over the top, even for what it is as a, as a main event basic uh, series. But you'll see, they'll read up here on the back, the other figures in the wave include Sheamus, Eddie Guerrero, The Miz, who I'm also intrigued about. He comes with that like iridescent kind of purple suit from, I believe, WrestleMania when he was the host. Uh, and first time in line, Maxine Dupree and the female superstars in the main event series have been going really quick. She sold out fast on ringside, so hopefully I can track her down. But enough chatting, let's get Cody out of the packaging and see what this figure is all about. So here we have our main event Cody Rhodes figure out of the packaging. And mind you, the main event figures do not come with any accessories, but uh, I... Keep stressing this every review. I feel like I'm doing more and more uh, figure reviews of the main event figures. The heads are fully removable and the hands also do pop out. So while you don't get any interchangeable hands, I'm sure like uh, like many of you like me have a bag, a Ziploc bag full of interchangeable hands. So if you guys want to have some more expression, you want to have them uh, with some fists for figure photography, or if you want to have the open hands for his entrance or something uh, showing some passion, you can definitely swap that even with the head, which we will do in this video review. Uh, we'll take a look at some a few different Cody Rhodes heads, but uh, the head this figure comes with is the standard kind of like straight face Cody we've seen over and over again. Mine is a little bit of some sloppy paint here. You can see the blonde coming through the front. I feel like we've seen this a lot with Cody Rhodes figures. Like, it's kind of getting annoying now where they paint the hair blonde and it's kind of like seeps onto his forehead. But I uh, do like the this face. I feel like it's time for more skins. We did get a new one with Elite 111, but I feel like we need more Cody Rhodes head, head sculpts. I feel like they've been rocking the same ones for quite a while now. You can see again... He does have the neck tattoo, and with the main event figures, I guess it's a cost-cutting thing. There is no neck tat on his face. It is simply on the neck, and that's probably the accurate way to have it on this figure. But you will see the American Nightmare Flame logo here on the front of this kind of sleeveless hoodie. Uh, the sculpted hood here as well goes fully around the back. You will see Kingdom, or Claim Your Kingdom. Mine has a little bit of some missing paint, which is freaking annoying, man, with the white here just kind of coming off the back. Uh, I don't know if I did that peeling them out of the packaging off of uh, this, this bubble uh, piece or, or not, but uh, be careful when you get them out of there, but you'll see it does have Nightmare Family. This hoodie is sculpted on there. It is not removable. It's not like a free-floating piece, so that is nice. Uh, the rest of the figure, he does have these single-jointed arms here. You can see pinless. Uh, the legs are just kind of some black sweatpants can see they are single jointed legs we'll go through the articulation he also does have the, these i will say these sneakers look a little odd i want i kind of want mattel to have a little more bit more realistic sneakers i feel like we've been seeing the the same molds forever uh this just looks like some old man like big kind of clown shoes to be honest i just like i said i just want something a little more stylish but it does the job for the main event figure you can see on the bottom here Nothing else to it, really. The rest of the attire is in black. So the head is removable. The hands are removable. You'll see the head will fully rotate. The arms do go fully round. There is no bicep cut on this. You have a single jointed elbow here. Uh, the hands do fully rotate as well as a hinge. You have the waist swivel. He does do the splits about that much. 
Looks like he is on ball joints. There is also that kind of like hinge at the hips, so you can kind of get him to go in and out. Uh, the knees are single jointed. They are not as stiff as some of the other basic or main event figures. Uh, he can kick up about that much. That's actually pretty good. Uh, not too far back. Uh, again, uh, he does have ankle rotation. Doesn't really go up and down too much. A little stiff. I don't think this does hinge up and down, but it does swivel around. So obviously way better articulation for these figures. Uh, but I do want to do some comparisons and head swaps with this uh, main event figure. And here's a group shot of a ton of Cody Rhodes figures since he's returned to WWE and Mattel. Uh, they continue to pump them out. I absolutely will buy them all. I'm a big fan. Absolutely love Cody's run. But uh, we will bring some in a little closer to kind of get a little comparison. So here we have the Ultimate Edition 21. You will see obviously a lot bigger. Uh, we do have uh, the Elite 109 here in the suit. I did actually swap the head here. So it's nice to have a few different like sh Shriek Gear Cody's. Uh, we do also have... The original Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition, which is significantly taller. Uh, I feel like with each new figure release, I like that figure a little less and less, to be totally honest with you guys. Got the Ultimate 21 back there in the actual entrance coat. Here is another basic Cody. We've seen this a few times before. This actually was released in Top Picks line, too. Uh, I did throw on the custom t-shirt here. Again, like I said, I really do like this t-shirt design. You can see they are about the same height. This head is a little cleaner than this one. Uh, but like I said, I do have extras. We will definitely probably fix that up and swap that because uh, that extra paint that bleeds through really annoys me we have the ringside collectibles defining moments cody Rhodes, and lastly we have the most recent elite 111 figure all of cody's figures are just so much fun here we have a few custom figures that I put together in their street gears. We have Roman Reigns here with the head of the table shirt. These pants were actually swapped from the Elite 81 Rock onto the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. I believe these shoes are from a 106 uh, Elite Jimmy Uso. On the right, we have my Ruthless Aggression main event lower body uh, final boss rock. Uh, this vest actually came from a superstar figure and the upper torso is actually from the Walmart Elite Rock. Threw on uh, the people's championship belt or the unreleased uh, rock brahma bull belt uh but always fun to pair some different street gear figures together here let's run through a few head swaps here on this main event figure one thing to point out a lot of the elite and ultimate figures do have uh that tattoo face uh deco on there on his cheek so you will have the color versus the black and white tat underneath that's just one thing to point out for you guys if that does bother you but we do have the elite 111 head i still don't know how i feel about this head but i actually do like the way it looks on this uh main event figure to be honest here is the smiling head skull from the Elite Top Picks figure with the red tights here. I actually think this head looks a little big for my taste on this main event figure. I think I do like the Elite 111 head a little better. And lastly, we have the screaming skull. I believe this one is off of the Elite 111 figure as well. I don't like this head, man. I feel like this one needs to be re retired. I just don't feel like they capture the likeness to Cody with a scream here. But uh, here it is on this figure body. I feel like this also looks pretty large if you ask me. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this brand new main event Cody Rhodes figure and if you will be looking to add it to your collection. While you're at it, please turn on those notification bells. Stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my YouTube channel. My personal take on this brand new main event Cody Rhodes figure. I absolutely love it. I feel like there are very few gripes for a figure that costs 12 bucks. Uh, it definitely is something very different from what we've got with Cody. It's not his ring gear. It's not a suited figure. It's him in kind of like sweats, kind of like a workout gear or uh, just some kind of hanging out backstage gear. Absolutely love it. Love the logo. Uh, the head sculpt, I feel like is okay. I feel like if there's any real gripe, it's like we've seen this head so many times before. Not that we would get a brand new head with a main event figure. You never know. Maybe that's possible. Uh, but I would like to see some new Cody head sculpts in the future. Uh, Everything else on this figure is just really fun. I'd say go ahead and grab it. Uh, this should be hitting retail soon. I actually scored this off of Amazon, so hopefully you'll be able to find it um, and add it to your collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review. Uh, while you're at it, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. Thank you all for your continued support, and I'll catch you all on the next one.